Hey! Any fash. It is the 21st of February 2020. Hope you're all doing well. It's getting more difficult to get on here these days, but here we are. This came across this morning and I just, just had to share it. This is very interesting, very telling. Um, they had a debate in Las Vegas the other night. And Bloomberg showed up there for the first time. Now you got to understand something about Bloomberg. Don't be surprised if he is in fact the candidate if we in fact get that far. Because things are really, really heating up. Now he is without question one of the most connected people to the healthcare system of any of these candidates. He is essentially married, has a very long time intimate relationship with the John Hopkins Hospital Group, as well as the CDC and the WHO, Event 201. They did not name the John Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health for nothing. Public health, you know, like in case of pandemics and stuff. And this is all direct result of the Rockefeller Foundation, you know, the death group. This is just the way it is, folks. They're all connected. They're all actors. They're all just up here competing to see who can lie the best to you to get you to pick them to bring in their dystopic future. This is what they're doing. And Bloomberg, don't be surprised. He is hinting at choosing Hillary Clinton as his vice president. This is the same guy that golfs with Trumps. They are the club. This is who they are. You need to understand. It's disgusting. And don't forget, it's our current president who made this statement about Hillary Clinton. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. And here we are nearly four years later and no Hillary in jail. In fact, she may actually become vice president. Just the fact that she is able to run for this position is astounding. And people will clamor. That just means we have to vote Trump in again. We must vote Trump in again so that he can clean up the swamp. You delusional. Please understand this. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. And I remind you, Bloomberg is John Hopkins. He is connected intimately to this whole apparatus being put in place here. This is a control mechanism, whether the virus is real or not. It's because all they got to do is tell you that it's real and hide in your home and wait for them to come and make sure that you are qualified to remain in your own home and not a public health threat. You know, Bloomberg School of Public Health it's all a big scam, people. I pray that you understand this. I really do. And right when they're doing this debate, this other outfit that are Trump supporters actually put MAGA hats on pigeons and set them loose in Las Vegas. After, of course, they crap all over the American flag. Now, this is extremely cryptic and extremely telling. Remember, we got the virus. We have this element of medical martial law potential. They are setting up the dominoes. It's only a matter of time till this affects the economy, every aspect of your life. This is the plan. And people will just clamor to get Trump back in office. They're setting up the, the grand event here, the event 201, if you will. And it's a giant lie. Please understand this. Look at this video that this television station in Las Vegas put out. Watch it carefully. Listen to the words and understand the association, the spiritual warfare underlying this whole thing. And I pray that you see what's being shown here. I'm not going to break the whole thing down. I'm just going to play it in its entirety once and then follow it up with just a few little additions. Check this out.
Birds are not aggressive creatures, miss. They bring beauty into the world. It is mankind, rather, who insists upon making it difficult for life to exist upon this planet. I mean, birds just don't go around attacking people without no reason, you know what I mean? I think we're in real trouble. Huh? I don't know how this started or why, but I know it's here and we'd be crazy to ignore it. To ignore what? The bird war? Yes, the bird war, the bird attack play. Call it what you like, they're massing out there someplace and they'll be back, you can count on it. Get yourselves guns and wipe them off the face of the earth. It's the end of the world. What do you think they were after? I think they were after the children. For what purpose? To kill them. Birds are not aggressive creatures, miss. They bring beauty into the world. It is mankind, rather, who insists upon making it difficult for life to exist upon this planet. I mean, birds just don't go around attacking people without no reason, you know what I mean? I think we're in real trouble. Huh? I don't know how this started or why, but I know it's here and we'd be crazy to ignore it. To ignore what? The bird war? Yes, the bird war, the bird attack play. Call it what you like, they're massing out there someplace and they'll be back, you can count on it. Get yourselves guns and wipe them off the face of the earth. They came in peace. It's the end of the world. What do you think they were after? I think they were after the children. For what purpose? To kill them. Now what do you really think possessed ABC Channel 13 Las Vegas Sin City to produce this? Think about it. They all claim peace and prosperity, and they're going to bring law and order back into the world. And it's just not so. And I don't know if anybody watched last night's debate. It got very big ratings. And you know what? Mini Mike didn't do well last night. I was going to send him a note saying it's not easy doing what I do, is it? Bloomberg made a fool out of himself last night. He choked. He's another one. He's going, ah, oh, 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 I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Don't ask me the question, please. I look at my wife. I said, let's send him a little note. It's not so easy up there to do what I did, right? I did great in the debates. I became president because of the debates. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of America. But I got a solution. I got a solution. Somebody had to do it. I am the chosen one. Somebody had to do it. Plan to fix everything. I alone can fix it. He's going to make him grow again. He will make America great again. He's going to fix everything. I know the best people. I know guys that are so good. He's got a higher IQ than any man alive. I will be the greatest president that God ever created. I tell you that. You know, I'm like a smart person. So smart! <laughs> Did you my word? Continue defrauding the public with ridiculous bullshit. Believe me, folks. Believe me. You need to understand you're in a spiritual war. Listen to what they're really putting out there. These people want nothing more than to earn their part in this new world order. That's all they care about. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Please understand this. I hope you see what I'm showing you. You gotta lean on Jesus and Jesus alone because no man is gonna change this. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God.